Okay, so we have the kidneys. Uh, we have the abdominal aorta and the inferior vena cava. Um, the renal artery starts here, goes to the segmental artery, to the interlobar artery, uh, to the arcuate artery. And then from the arcuate artery, the perpendicular one goes to this uh, interlobular artery or the, the cornicate radiate. radiate artery into the Bowman's capsules or the renal corpuscles, whatever you want to call them. And that is this guy right here. So the, the corpuscle is this big guy. And you have the afferent, meaning incoming artery, into this capillary knob and then exits again through the efferent or outgoing artery. Um, from there, it goes back to the um, ar you know, interlobular artery, to the er, vein, arcuate vein, interlobular vein, and out to the renal vein and into the inferior vena cava. Um, let's see. So the actual filtrate is pushed out through um, these fenestrated capillaries through these podocytes, which have holes and kind of keep the red blood cells inside the capillaries, but leaks out all the fluid into this collecting uh, sac. And then it exits through the um, proximal convoluted tubule, which is right here, um, here in this area. And there's going to be some, some capillaries around here as well. And then it goes down into the medulla, into the loop of Henle. The descending will be the, the thin part, and then the ascending part of the loop of Henle will be the thick part. And then back out in the, the cortex, you'll have the distal convoluted tubule dumping into the um, collecting duct, which is this big guy. And then you'll have a papillary duct right here. Papillary duct will empty into the minor calyx, which will be right here into a major calyx, which is this area, and then into the pelvis, which is this big collecting area. From the pelvis, it exits down to the ureters, which are paired here, down to the urinary bladder, um, into these two um, openings here for the ureters, which creates a triagonal area called the trigony, down to the um, urethra, which is this part right here, and in males, it's surrounded by um, the prostate. Um, I think that's about it.